Hello everyone, I'm Sully Team 14 aka Andrew Celestia, and we're back with more Pokemon Rejuvenation. Last time I did things in Amethyst Cave and and all that. <laughs> anyway, um yeah. Uh I'm gonna turn off repel oh repel is off. Okay. Uh let's look at the sauce book. Swap? <laughs> oh, it's an item season one. That's cool. Um I'll try to learn Oh wait, I didn't get oh yeah I did. Never mind. Oh, yay, one shot. One shot, one kill, right? <laughs> Alrighty, we cut ourselves a sauce bug. And, yeah, it's all good. I don't think we need another one. So anyway, oh, let's see. Yui's Ranch. Huh, well, the milk tank realm. Oh, the saplings. Oh, there's a good go here. That's so cool. Who are you? Well, that doesn't d matter much now, does it? My name is Beth, and this old established... This is my ranch. Well, I'm a family's ranch, of course. We worked hard to provide our customers with the best Moo Moo milk possible. Unfortunately, the great people at Grand Dream City forbid us to sell our milk inside the city walls. Seems like those snooty tooties are too good for our products. It's just we don't, we don't provide some of our income to the city itself. I wish I could stop. I wish I, I should stop talking just about talking about our personal issues we just met. Please enjoy your visit at the ranch. And she disappears. Okay. Oh, psycho cell. Oh. Hmm, apparently this spot means a thing. I don't know why it is. That looks familiar from her born. Anyway. Hmm. Interesting. It's inside the house. Oh. Oh, a visitor? Welcome to Yui's ranch. Yui was my daughter. She used to own this ranch before she passed. Now my granddaughter Beth has stepped up as the owner. Enjoy your visit. Oh, okay. That's cool. Aww. Go goats. And berries we can't harvest yet, so we'll have to come back later. Oh. Now, if you had a good goat, I would probably catch that. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Oh, now that I'm off. Oh. Hello. I like how the sauce bug's just chilling here. Always trust your spirit. I figured this was gonna be a battle. Why did I fall for it? No one knows. Anyway, Hydro Pump! You know, I question why I'm just goofing off. Eh, oh well. Woo! Umbreon, okay. Aura, you're up. Time for Aura Spear! Yeah, I'm just sort of derp at the moment, guys, so. Eh, don't mind my. Don't mind, don't mind me. <laughs> Alright! Oh, Extreme Speed, yes! Mm, I have to get. <sighs> Sorry, but. Yeah, Alright, let's see. Zygarde Cell, and what's this sauce book doing? Oh, it's just being a derp. Okay. Yeah, it disappears too, even if you run from it, so. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, what? Ooh! What, slash and burn. What's this? I have never seen this before, actually. Slash and burn. Oh, it's a grass move. You can learn it. This I want to see, actually. <laughs> It'd be interesting for an electric type to learn this. Anyway. Damn. Oh, there's a melt tank. Don't need one of those. Anyway, we're, we're gonna head this way because I don't want to go into any trainer battles. Crap. What did you do? To? I'm gonna turn into myself. So I want to give this move a shot. Slash and burn. Aw. Oh, it's one of those. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Slash and burn. Good job, Ray. Ditto again, eh? Alright, I'll use my own weakness against me then. Or before I, it even gets a chance, I do that. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's later in the story, so I won't. S God dang it, I think I went the wrong way! This way, I think. And then. This way. To uh, trio! Wild well, Pokemon and trainers everywhere! God dang it! Oh, just sparkling aura, are ya? I'm serene, which is good. Oh, Jesus. Alright, sparking. Good job, are ya? Um, why do I say are ya? You're serene. God dang it. The sparkling are ya move. How dare you forsaken me? Oh, crap, there goes me. Ah, Jesus. Okay, Shiron, you're up. And there's actually a good reason. I actually like the name Shiron, so that's why I'm keeping it for uh, the Vulpix. And I actually. 
actually do like the rainbow colored theme for the shiny Bullpixes, but I'm not too sure if I want to keep it now. Because I like the white fluffy interior. I'll have to decide that later. Let's see. Darts like woods. What? Can I already go in here or what? I don't know if I do already go in here or not. Uh, I feel like I'm lost. I don't know where to go. So I'm gonna rewind. Go back. Because I have no idea if I'm going to the right spot. <sighs> Alright, come on. Where did the others go? Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, I know where they went. Uh, I know where they went. I know where they went. They went here, I think. I think they went here? I don't know. What? Uh, okay. Oh my god, I don't know where the others went. What is what is this? I I don't even. Oh boy. Okay. Go on this way. All right. They want. Uh, all right, Crystal. I wonder what caused these trucks to become damaged. One could argue that it was tampered by wild Pokemon, but I think otherwise. The Pokemon around here are very docile. They just don't attack things for the sake of attacking. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. They went up here last time, so that's where we're gonna go. And even though I won't like it. We're gonna have to fight trainers along the way. Yep. I was hoping to avoid her. Uh, nope. That was a waste of my goddamn time. Anyway, surf. Screw you! Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Go for it, Ninja Pump. I need this sunny day! Go away! Huh. <sighs> It feels like it's in shambles. Anyway, uh, right, you're up. Whew. You know, in truth, guys, I feel like I'm running out of commentary ideas for this, so. Eh, I might go silent every now and then. Oh, this was the right way, and I'm an idiot. Are you serious? Now the bridge is out? This can't be a coincidence, right? Right? First, the tracks were destroyed, and now the bridge is out, and there's a cave right there. If you ask me, it. If you ask me, it looks like someone really doesn't want people in to enter the city. Uh, that's what it looks like to me as well. It's so- this is so frustrating. Well, what the hell do we do now? There's no way to enter the city from this side. I guess we're going to have to wait until the tracks are fixed. Hey, waiting! Come on, you guys. No point staying here. Maybe if we're lucky, they're already fixing the tracks. When are we ever that lucky, though? So this is the future. Oh, the so far, the, this future looks so grim. Yeah, you don't know the half of it, man. No, dude, really, you really don't know the half of it. Anyway, crap. Oh, it's nearly. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, back to the group. Um, things aren't looking too good, Luther. Looks like they can't actually fix the tracks. Well, what's the damage? The damage is severe. Too severe for me to try to fix myself. It looks like we're going to have to stay put and wait up wait for help to arrive. I've contacted officials in Grand Dream City. They should be here any minute. How exactly are they supposed to get here? We tried to go to Grand Dream City, but the bridge was destroyed. A part of me? The bridge is out as well? This confirms my theory. Someone may have sabotaged the tracks to prevent tourists from entering the city. S sabotage? Why would anyone want to do that? Maybe someone doesn't want people to interfere with the stone crisis. If you cut out all the entrances and n exits, no one can leave or enter. Hmm. Who would go to such so much effort to turn people into stone? You say it yourself. There are cruel people here in this world. Regardless, this is a serious issue. If the train st stands in this condition for too long, then we're gonna have to. Then we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. These trains gain their power through electricity and present in these tracks. If the tracks are destroyed, that's a, that also means we're cut off from the electricity as well. Which means the train is going to run out of power eventually. Yes, and if you all don't want to play caveman, I suggest we find some help. I may have someone who may... I know someone who may help us. There's a town just south of here called Obli Oblivious Town. It's a really ramshackle and beat up town. <coughs> Pardon me. And that's where someone named Kelvin lives. Who is Kelvin? He's someone who can repair these tracks for us, that's for sure. Okay, will you take us to him? Uh, I'm sorry, but I cannot. If you're gonna, you're gonna have to find him yourself. 
I cannot face him right now. First you change your name a lot, and then you act all suspicious. You sure aren't a crim- Well, are you sure you- You sure you're not a criminal on the run? Venom? What? Forgive her, she's barbaric. Barbaric?! That's enough. We're wasting our time. We should just go to the... A bull... Blitz's town and find Kelvin. I'm sorry, but I've never learned your names. I'm Amelia, and this is my friend Cannon. Cannon, I see. Cannon, would you mind staying here for a bit? I have something I would like to discuss with you. Sure. Alright, then it's Luther, Venom, and I. The quicker we are to find this guy, the quicker we can get to, into the city. And yes, as I stupidly have entered before, this is the way into the city. Into the town. So this is a Blitz's town? It looks like complete garbage. No, like it's had better days. So garbage. <sighs> Whatever, let's just look for this Kelvin guy and get him to fix those tracks. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we can't actually go in here. What? Pokemon Center is out of service until further notice. Oh. Apparently this is a path. Don't know to what, but it's a path. Oh, wait, here's another one. Apparently that means something, but I don't know what. Anyway, uh... He's not here! Well, he can't be far away, can he? The bridge is out, and there's also... N and there's no way he could have taken the train, so he must have be around. Unless he went to Grand Dream City before the bridge was destroyed. In which case, we're royally screwed. It's not like we can go back to Garen City. We're gonna have to... Look for ourselves. <sighs> Sorry, part of you guys. <sighs> oh, are you three looking for Kelvin? He's not here at the moment. Weren't you standing there when we got here? Ah, yes I was. Then why the hell didn't you tell us when you wasn't home? Because you Pokemon trainers think you can just barge into people's homes without anyone's permission? If you're going to be rude, then I can be rude back. Stupid old people, I swear. Harden our rudeness. Would you happen to know where Kelvin is? Ah, Kelvin. He said he wanted to take a stroll through the fields on Route 7. There's a small possibility that he could also be inside Darchlight Woods. He goes there often to pick fresh mushrooms. Alright, thank you so much for your help. Venom and I will go look around Route 7. Could you go look through Darchlight Woods? Excuse me, but where is Darchlight Woods located? West of Route 7. You know the place when you see it. Thank you. There you have it. We'll meet up back at the train station to f report our findings. See you soon. Alrighty, now we finally can make our way into the woods, which is where I was originally, earlier. Yeah, and I, and I uh, roamed around without remembering where the progress of the story was. <laughs> anyway, we go this way now. There's Melia. We just saw her, but that's not our case. We are heading- oh. And you're sure you got notice of the corruption spreading in this area? Yes, I am absolutely certain. Would I lie to you, brother? Alright, if you say so. I trust you. Stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost in here by yourself. I can handle myself, but I appreciate your concern. Hmm, just as much as people. Hmm. Let's look around these woods a little. Aside from the parasect, of course. Oh. Hmm, who's she? Huh. Ah! P please excuse me. And that's all I'm gonna get for a cutscene. Oh, Zygarde cell, hello. Yeah, do you think we can't go in there yet? I think if we had defog, we could probably do something, but yeah, I don't have defog, so... That's all we get. Anyway. Aw, oh, crap. Fairy child. Creepy. Anyway... I guess you're all I can use for now, Serene. Ah, Jesus, no. Hi, Drip Hunt Time, Serene. Good job. Oh no, you're gonna die before then. Go away. Thank you. Whew. You mean you don't? I don't really give a damn because you scared the shit out of me. Alright. Anyway, moving on and away from. Oh my god, she's good. I can never get away from this child because. God damn! Alright, anyway. Whoa, whoa, little did any no thunder. Damn, I should be spookled, but. Sadly, I'm not. Spirit Shekel. Ooh, okay. Um, let's do steam eruption. Good job, Takumi. Alright. Aromatease. Nope, we'll, we'll stay where we are. 
Leaf Blade! Yay, advantage of grass types! Ah, Jesus. Go for it, Takumi! Woo! My soul, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you just worry about these little fairy type girls, because they are a little spooky. Anyway, what the heck is that? Oh, honey mushroom. Sweet. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nope, just a parasect. Anyway, we're gonna go over here. Huh? Finally got rid of that annoying brother of mine. God, I don't need your help na navigating anything. Quick check of the perimeter. The coast seems clear. Let's get this over with. Blade Star Admin Online. Planting probe num number D07. Activating probe. Probe is activated. Processing with procedure. Let's go. And I get the fuck out of there. It's a shame it had to come to this. Don't worry, I'll restore this place one day. Flora, where are you? I'm over here! Flora, when the world happened here? Look, Flora, I told you. The corruption has spread even in dark light woods. We're going to have to report this to Cassandra immediately. Isn't that right? I may be a high-ranking government official, but not even I can talk to Cassandra that fast. We have to be absolutely sure this was caused by corruption and not some... We're a disaster or something. What are you talking about? Get what? Get what else could have done this? A Pokemon? Get real. I wonder if this is the work of Blade Star. They've been causing trouble for quite some time. Uh, would you stop being a damn scaredy cat and re just report this? What the hell is your deal? All right, all right, Flora. There's no need to yell. I'll report this as soon as it we get back to the judicial district. I still want to keep looking around though. Fine, let's get a move then. Hmm. I want to see what look. Oh. Ah. Huh. Look at these samurai. That's cool. Huh. Wonder where I am. Uh. Palace. Catastrophe. Yada yada. Anyway, let's sit for a bit. Oh, I'm next fell. But yeah, it is possible to get an Oshawott. I just can't remember where. Ah, jeez. Ah, oh, you're whooper. Is your whoop a doop. Uh, anyway. Oh, there's a samurai over there. What are you doing over there, bud? Oh, let me talk to him. Nope. Samurai seems to be holding something. Oh, thank you for the rare candy. That's so nice. Anyway, uh, we can explore here a little later, so. Anyway. I just let me through. Yeah, this was not a corruption. That girl caused this. Anyway. Oh, that's uh, so I think for the spirit tomb event. So, what? Route eight. We are not going that way yet. Crap. <laughs> oh, I swear, a freaking Pokemon. All right, we can't go that way. So let's see. God damn it! I just want to look around more. Oh, oh. Darkling Manor. Yep, we could do a few things here. Hmm. Let's have a look around. Well, in the possible look around spots we can look at. There it is. Oh, Max Repel. The scene me is no longer functional. Oh, wait. Yes. Let me upstairs. Let me in here. What the hell? Oh, it's a bayonet. I feel so spooked. Alright, anyway. Uh, it was the duty to uphold the altar name, but I believe that isolating my granddaughter's Pokemon is absurd. This is not my place to over. It is not my place to override my daughter's choices with her children, but that doesn't mean I can't make my own. I went to Hiyoshi City today to pick up a beautiful Clefairy doll from one of the stream vendors. He told me of Bleak Rico and their new interactive Clefairy that was made especially for small children. Technically, this wasn't an actual Pokemon, therefore my daughter can do nothing about it. There's no harm. Though he did warn me about one thing. Keep this doll away from water. Hmm. Okay... Crap. Yeah, lots of ghost types here, guys. What? Can I sleep in this bed? Nope. Okay. Crap. Curse you, I say. Curse you. Anyway. Oh my god. You know, I should turn the repel back on because this house is filled with stuff. Um, rip. Nope. Options. Uh, repel. I know there's something else I can do here. I just don't know what. Because I know you can get a Pokemon, I think. Huh. Huh. 
Okay, I guess we can't do anything here exactly yet, so we'll have to come back a little later. Oh, wait. What? There's no footing on the other side. Oh. Alright. Alright, anyway. Uh, you know what? We'll come back to this place a little later, because I really don't know where to go from here. So, we'll return to this uh, manor in next time, or whenever we're done with the main story, so, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Sorry for wasting your time, guys' time there, I was just trying to think. Anyway, we are moving on. Hmm. Foggy, very foggy. Anyway. Hey, it's those, two, it's those two siblings from before. And what's with all these hold, hold traps? Anyway. Huh? Where did you come from? Relax, Flora. They're probably just another random trainer running around the woods. Yeah, but you would think trainers would stay away from these woods after hearing the myth. Like, honestly, do you want your memories to be erased completely? I don't think so. So scram. Honestly, Flora, could you not be so rude to strangers? Sorry, now scram. We don't have time to meddle with whatever you want. Well, now I will give them some of our time. My name is Warren. I'm part of the head council in Grand Dream City. My dream is to one day be the mayor of the Grand Dream City. The rude woman to my left is my sister, Flora. She is the grass type gym leader. Pleasure. So what's your name, kid? Wait a minute. I know this person. Aren't you Luther? This is Luther? Didn't we talk... Talking in the city once already? Uh, you don't remember us? I thought you wouldn't know. After you stepped on my foot and called me a loser. Wait, what? That was pretty funny. I like you already. But it looks like they have no idea what we're talking about, so maybe we're mistaken? Possibly. Eh, whatever. There doesn't seem to be any corruption around here. But if it's spreading, we if that's bad news for us. Yes, it is. Can we just go back to Grand Dream City already? I can r barely see anything in this horrendous fog. Yes, yes, so right. Let's go back home. Laura has nothing else to do later on today. So if you haven't been in the area and want a gym battle... Excuse me, do you know my entire initiary or something? I did... Did I say I was free? For God's sake, Flora, cut the attitude. What else do you need to get done today? You see, I'm... I'm a very busy woman and... Did you hear that? Kind of like a cracking noise below us. What? What exactly are we standing on? A pile of leaves? Oh, you have got to be... Great! This is perfect! Absolutely perfect. If you have just listened to me when I said we should leave, we wouldn't be here right now. How was I supposed to know this was going to happen? It's not like I wanted this. I'm like, I'm trapped with two siblings. Great. You never listened to me. Things could be better if you just listened to me for once. And now you've brought Luther down with us. Great job, Florin. Great job. All right, all right. I admit I was wrong. I just wanted to see if the corruption spread any farther. I didn't want the people of Grand Dream City to feel out of the know, okay? They deserve to know what hap what's happening outside the walls. Fair enough. Sorry I yelled. Let's just find a way out of this, please. Could you guys stop making so much noise? I'm trying to take a, trying to nap over here. Who is that? I'm in the silt to the left of you. Seriously, shut up. My lord, there are other people down here? Excuse me, but do you know where we are? Are you looking... Are you doing okay yourself? I don't know. Uh, okay, how did you get down here? Hi, pal. How long have you been down here? A couple of hours. Maybe days. A couple of hours? Maybe days? That was a huge ex estimation gra gap. I don't know how long I've been down here, okay? I fell down here and thought the sand was really soft. I just sort of laid down and fell asleep. I've been sleeping here this whole time until someone decided they wanted to yell over nonsense. Fine then. We can all be stuck down here together forever. But speak for yourself. I'm not stuck down here. I can leave whenever I feel like. Yeah, sure, if that was the case, you would have tried to escape rather than taking a nap. You're trapped. The only trap here is your mouth. I think it'd be better if you shut it. My name's Aaron, and I'm never trapped. I will never be trapped, and I will always come out on top. Do you want me to rescue you, or is your crippling, crippling pride preventing you from not being rude as hell? Hey, don't look at me. I don't have anything to do with this. The clock's ticking. Are you going to let me help you? Yes. All right, you're all out. Goodbye. Wait. What? 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 That's it? That's it. I don't know what you're expecting. Some long story on how I got here? Sexual preference? Wait, what? 
Prefer an aesthetic? What? Date of birth? Place of birth? Would you like my ID number as well? How about my blank, my bank info? I'll let you in on a little information. I'm not, I'm down here because I'm looking for my friend Altea. That caught me. We got separated. I fell down here, took a nap, saved you, and that's it. There's nothing else to it, so let me be on my way. She called Flora rude? She's gone her own way of being unpleasant. Ugh, screw her. Let's just find a way out of here, okay? Yeah, that name she spoke, Altea. I'm gonna smack down and need some information from that woman. <laughs> get it. Well, looks like there are a couple of ways we could do this. But how much do you bet that the inaccessible way that way that entrance over there is the way out of here? Despite what I said before, this isn't. I think we could split we should split up and look for the exit. Who put you in charge? I put myself in charge. Leave this is someone who actually knows what they're doing. There seems to be three ways to go. Four of us. So someone needs to pair up with someone. How about we let Niet over there decide? Oh thanks. Yeah, you. You haven't said a word since I've met you. I've given you the option to choose who you want to go with. It should be fine, right? Now choose. Go with? Um, I don't know if it is necessary to go with Flora or Florin, but I feel like uh, it's necessary to go with Aaron. So I'm gonna try... I'm gonna go with Aaron. Fine. We'll team up and take the right path. Green haired dude, you take the middle path, and green haired girl, you can take the left path. Wait! What's the problem? I like to take the middle path if that's alright. What does it matter? Just something about the middle path. In not me and my intuition. Fine, you and green haired dude can switch. That's Florin, by the way. That's Flora. The and the mute is Luther. Alright, I'll remember that hopefully. Let's move then. Yeah, there's a reason why she didn't want us to go down that way. Well, because Yeah, there's a, yeah, from what you saw earlier. She's probably she's obviously a Blade Star member. Anyway, and me and I Aaron are going to confirm it. Would you look at all this? Pardon me. A room with a giant computer, several boxes, and some obligatory but boring plants. Yes, what we have here is absolutely nothing of worth. Eh, might as well take a look around here. Look around while we're here. Huh? Weird out. Weirded out because I opened uh, one of the. Oh, bleh. Huh? Were you out because I opened up these boxes? Haven't you ever looked at boxes and wondered what's inside them? You'd probably wonder, but never actually bothered with them. I like that sprite she's got going on. Hmm. Myself, on the other hand, I tend to let curiosity take over. Curiosity killed the cat, but the sweet, sweet satisfaction brought it back, right back. So let's see what curiosity has led us to. Several minutes later. Have you found anything you, of note over there? Of note, Luther? Didn't think so. This was sort of a bust. Hold on a moment. Right here. It says password alpha. So we've got a password, but no word of input said password. Well, we do have a computer over he there. Maybe we can fiddle with it and find more things? Let's turn this thing on. Alright, there we go. While I dig through the databases, there's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. So, who are you... Who are you exactly to Altea? Friend? Sibling? Distant lover? What? Am I confusing you? I saw your face change when I mentioned Altea's name. Anyway, I found her and this old man next to some wreck in... Some wreck on Route 7. You may have seen it. I brought them to my grandpa and... And he took care of them. Altea wanted me to bring her back to the wreck for some reason. But we got separated. Then I fell down here and now here we are. I'm sure she's doing fine though. She seemed capable. Enough. Oh hey, look at this. Whoa, this is unexpected. This place belongs to Blade Star. Have you heard of Blade Star? If you aren't from around here, I wouldn't expect you to. Supposedly they are the terrorists who wish to see Grand Dream City destroyed. That's how the media portrays them, but if you want a handful of good advice, here it is. People s the people behind the media are characters. They intentionally hide things. Do your own research and formulate your own opinion. God, there's so much information here. There's a list of names of people in Blade Star. Whoa, what? Deleting? I didn't touch anything. What would have commanded the computer to delete its archives? This is concerning. The time is isn't a coincidence either. Either someone knows we're here and they're covering the, up the tracks. So this could mean a few things for us. One, we're going to be targeted by Blade Star for the rest of our pitiful life. Two, halt. Two, they're gonna sit. They're sending reinforcements to have us apprehended. We know too much. 
Hey, look, they sent one, one grunt for each thing that I've listed. Sorry, but you two have to come with us. You just know too much to be left alone. I guess this is where we battle our way out, right? Don't hold me back, and I won't hold you back. Got it? Got it. Eh, her sprite, her sprite's just <laughs> That's all I gotta say about her sprite. It's just meh. I got it. Well, there goes her Absol. Absol's almost screwed to death. I take it back. Never mind. Aw. Oh, that all I get? Fine. Alright, there goes Absol. Ugh. I don't know what, but for some reason in my eardrums I hear, like, silence. I don't know why. Just in the ears, I guess. Alright. Let's give Chiron a little shot. Yeah, I'm gonna consider changing Chiron back to a normal Vulpix. Just because, uh, why not? This is bad. Why it, it had to be the powerful ones? So it's true. This is a Blink Star Ran facility. Or was one? C correct, but. Hey, what the hell are you doing? We lost. That means we leave. So what? let's leave. Right. I don't see any cameras around, so while the possibility of someone watching us is present, I think they found out we were here with through other means. Maybe it's because we turned on the computer? Tell Aaron about four or keep quiet. Uh, just because I have seen this... Actually, no, we're gonna tell her. What? You found Flora in Bladestar uniform? If that's true, then things suddenly make sense. Flora seemed to really want the middle path, remember? If she were Bladestar, she'd know what exactly was down that path, correct? She has to be the one who con con contacted someone for reinforcements. The question is if Flora is on this as well. Deffel, since Flora questioned Flora's actions as well. In any case, let's pretend we don't know anything. We'll confirm Flora when the time is right. Uh, this is all for this episode, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!